Check out this ESP32 design from an 11th grade high school student. You think you're ready to run with the bowls? I give you some credit for originality with the colors in this schematic, but one thing I want to make sure you understand is some of the best practices with drawing schematics. First things first, this schematic sheet is just way too small for all this circuitry. What you would need to do is break this into multiple sheets, or what you could do is use one of the larger built-in sheet templates, or of course, create your own template with a larger sheet size. We normally use specific power and ground port objects rather than assigning net names for power and ground. For example, you can see here right at the top of the screen, there is this object called a ground power port. And if you right click here, you can access some other power ports. It's good to use these instead of net names. You are drawing across some of your sheet symbols. Again, you've done this because you just don't have enough room for all the components in your sheet. But once you switch to a larger sheet size, you'll be able to move these connections out of the way and then they won't be drawn over the symbols. Inside your PCB layout, you do get bonus points for using the actual ESP32 microcontroller instead of just using a module. But one thing I want to point out here is your antenna read. Here your antenna is routed with coplanar ground everywhere and this antenna is over solid ground on layer two. What you need to do is put ground cutouts and then pull the ground on the top layer away from that antenna. That's exactly how the antennas on the ESP32 modules work. And if you look at those ESP32 module boards, they will place a ground cutout below the module, cutting through the entire PCB. In addition to this antenna error that you can see here, you also have an interesting arrangement of components in a circular fashion in your impedance matching network. Did you intend to maybe DNP some of those? If so, make sure to specify that in the schematics on your 3.3 volt and your ground headers. I notice here on your 3.3 volt connection that you have this arrangement of vias right next to each other, very precisely separated. Unfortunately, those vias are unmanufacturable. You have the whole walls too close together. Also, you have all of these through pins on this header, so why don't you just connect the trace on the back layer directly to all of these pins? You really don't need all of these pins connected the way you have them. Also, unless you're doing really high current into this board, you don't even need to use multiple pins like you have here. Just a simple two pin header for power and ground will be sufficient. One thing I do like that you did with these headers is you made the power header red and then you made the ground header black. I think this is the first time I've ever seen that in the PCB layout, so good job. And last point, your silk screen looks great everywhere except right here on this pin eight indicator near your mounting hole. Want me to do a deep dive of your ESP32 design? Find me on LinkedIn and send me your design files.